Hey guys, it's Jeff. And today I want to talk to you about a topic that's near and dear to my heart. And that's how does SEO and paid search work together? A lot of times I see both new marketers and really experienced marketers and even large companies or agencies doing this wrong. Many people treat search engine optimization and paid search as two entirely different initiatives. Really, that's a big missed opportunity. In this video, we're gonna talk about four ways that your SEO and paid search can work together to enhance your search engine marketing. So without further delay, let's unbox it. So the first area where your search engine optimization and paid search can work together is keyword research. So what I like to remind people is that paid search and SEO are not targeting two different users. It's the same users using a search engine and they're using the same search queries. These two different tactics of paid search and SEO are really just giving you different ways of ranking for the same searches and the same users. If you've ever worked on SEO, you know that keyword research can be a really complicated and time-consuming exercise. If you've ever worked on paid search, you also know that you have to spend a lot of time investing in figuring out what keyword targets you're willing to pay money for. Well, why not do those exercises together? One of the best ways I recommend people approach this is doing a singular research exercise where you try to figure out what are all the best target terms that you want your business to rank for, whether you're using paid search or SEO. Then once you have that list, you can go plan tactically how many of those search queries you wanna tackle through paid search or how many you wanna to try to rank for with your search engine optimization efforts. You can even target the same keywords in both tactics. The second area where your SEO and paid search can work together is through combining the analytics or doing gap analysis on your different search query performance data. So what I mean by that is using your paid search search query data, not the keyword data, the search query data you can get directly from Google Ads, and the SEO query data you have from a platform like Google Search Console to identify where you might have holes in your different strategies where you might want to pick new keyword targets for paid search or add additional search query targets to your target list on the SEO side. I'll show you an example I've put together here. So what we're looking at here is a search term report. What I've done is I've combined data from Google Search Console for our organic search performance and Google Ads for our paid search query performance. What this report does is it tells us for each individual keyword, both the SEO performance data and the paid search performance data all on one line. This makes it really easy for us to not only see what our most valuable search queries are, but also for us to spot where we have certain scenarios where even though we're paying for traffic on the paid search side, we're not getting any impressions or clicks for those same search queries on the SEO side. Using this example, I can quickly see there's a keyword here that we might want to add to our SEO targeting list, mobile mechanics near me. What we're gonna do now that we see this gap is we're gonna plan a piece of content to help fill this gap on the SEO side of our business. By using a report like this, you can get a much better bird's eye view of everything going on in the search engines that doesn't just isolate you to looking at SEO or paid search data. So the third area where our paid search and SEO can work together is a concept I like to call keyword scouting. So what keyword scouting is, is using paid search as a way to test your messaging and your keyword targets before you ever go invest in SEO. SEO can be really challenging. There are three big problems you have when you're starting out. Number one is you might have bad quality data. When you're doing keyword research, you don't always get a lot of information, especially when you start looking at long tail search queries or really specific search queries, and you might not know how much actual search volume there is. The second issue you have is you may not know whether or not your content or what you're offering for SEO is going to resonate with your users. And without going and building that content, it's hard for you to test whether or not that's going to work. The third issue you might have is whether that traffic you can receive for that SEO keyword is going to convert to business for you in the future. 
Well, by using paid search, you can go test all those things and get a lot of information quickly before you invest all that time in SEO. An example of this might be if you're a B2B software company and you want to create some sort of ROI calculator that helps your prospective customers figure out if they'll get a return on investment when partnering with someone like you. Instead of just guessing at things like the query variations you need to figure out on the SEO side or the messaging or the functionality of the tool, what you could do instead is use a paid search campaign to immediately drive traffic to something like an ROI calculator. By doing that, you'll be able to figure out things like the messaging you need to be successful or the different search query variations that you might need to optimize for on the SEO side. So well before you would ever be able to drive traffic from SEO, you've already figured out a lot of those important things that will make your SEO efforts even better. So once you have all that data, you can then go invest in SEO tactics with the confidence of knowing exactly what your messaging will need to be, the search query variations that you need to target for, and how to craft your user experience in order to convert those users to customers. So the fourth way you can have your paid search and SEO work together is by doing something I like to call smoothing out the ROI curve. Paid search and SEO both have their unique challenges. On paid search, one of the challenges you have is that all of your clicks cost money. And so even if you have a really well-optimized paid search program, you're still going to need to continue to budget and pay for clicks no matter how long you plan on driving traffic through paid search. One of the challenges we see with search engine optimization is that it takes a long time to see the results from your efforts. You might be investing in things like content production or link building, and you might not actually see traffic come back to your website in anywhere from two to six or even 18 months, depending on how competitive your keyword targets are. By using both of these channels, we can actually mitigate a lot of those issues. What I'll show you now is a conceptual example of how this can work. So what we're looking at here is a chart that represents paid search and both the effort it takes and the results we should expect over time from making these investments. As you can see, it takes a pretty consistent effort here to do paid search well. In fact, we have a lot of work up front to do things like set up campaigns and optimize keywords based off our initial data you'll see that results tend to be pretty steady. We can improve these over time, and we usually get results right away as soon as we start investing. But there is a certain limit to how much we can drive in terms of results from these efforts. To contrast that, we have this same example, but more specific to search engine optimization. Here we also have a consistent amount of effort. We're doing things like creating content, promoting that content, on-site optimization, or building links. The interesting thing here is that our results are really delayed. We might get some really good results in the future, but we're not gonna see those on day one of our effort. As you can see in this last graph, when we combine these tactics, it allows us to make a consistent effort over time, but drive results in the short term, where we're more heavily relying on things like paid search to get our traffic, leads, and revenue. And then in the long term, our SEO efforts start to take over and we can wean down from some of our investments in paid search. So as you can see, by using those two channels together, we can smooth out that ROI curve and drive results right away with paid search, but also be doing the right things to get more results from SEO in the future. So now we've seen four ways that your search engine optimization and paid search can work together to improve your marketing. I beg you, please try at least one of these things and I guarantee that it will improve the way you do both SEO and paid search. Thank you for joining me today. This has been Jeff. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And remember to always be optimizing.